Hey everyone, it's me, Patrick Paradise, and today's video is going to be a bit of a different one, and also a bit of a random one, and it's going to be showing you my new lens, a bit of ruby, and also a couple of little updates as well. And the main reason why I'm doing this kind of video is because I'm actually really bored today, I've got nothing else to do, and it just came to me that I should show you guys the new lens, I could show you a couple of clips with the lens, and I can also show you Ruby because she is absolutely adorable, and she is too cute not to film, so you can't not like this little dog over here. And if you'd like to see more of Ruby then please let me know because I can definitely film more videos like this. And for those of you who don't already know, I was away on holiday in Cornwall for a week and I am back now so I thought I'd come back with a kind of fun random video, totally random and very different to my normal usual videos on my channel, but you know, what's, there's no harm in changing it up a bit. So something I wanted to quickly update you on is this new lens. And this is what I got recently for my 21st birthday, if you aren't aware it was my birthday on the 20th of August. But basically it gets really close up on certain objects and then blurs out the background so it looks really really pretty. I will give you a couple of tester shots with this lens actually because why not? You guys need to see the power of this lens. And this is a beautiful lens but I'm really interested and excited to, to use this for certain pet videos. Yes! Got the ball, got the ball, got the ball. See, I feel like this is like the perfect thing to do. If you ever want to get really great shots of your dogs or your faces, or their faces, just put the ball behind the camera. And that literally looks like they're looking at the camera. It's great. <laughs> just a little tip if you want to take some great photos of your dogs, put the ball behind the camera. And of course give them the ball after you've taken the photo because that would be very mean otherwise. <laughs> Come on Ruby! Is that you hinting that I can have the ball now? Is it? Is it? Okay so I think I've rambled on enough now and I'm actually I'm going to show you a few clips with the new lens just so you can see what you think of it. So I hope you enjoyed those few clips. I am sorry the filming was really shaky. It's just the lens is so heavy and also I was doing the whole freehand filming thing outside. I didn't use my tripod or anything like that so the filming was very shaky, I understand that. But the whole point is you just get to see a little bit of what the lens is about, what kinds of shots it can do and yeah, I'm really excited to use it from now on. Yes? Do you want to come up on the sofa? Make yourself all comfy. I also wanted to share something funny with you that I've just discovered that Plum has just like done. She must have done this between last night and today. But um, she's moved all of her bedding from under the tower over here. And I think she's sleeping under there. I think she's actually had a whole bed change. She's not in her igloo, but she must be under here. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you because I found that really funny. I also wanted to share with you guys that I did order myself a new bag of Fitch, only this time this is a 10 kilogram bag because they actually were sold out of the 20 kilogram bag, which is a normal size I buy. So um, 10 kilograms is gonna have to do. I mean, it'll probably do me two, three clean outs because I'm um, obviously Plum's cage is very huge, but I think it will be okay for now. I just hope next time they actually have some on their website because 
I do need the 20 kilogram bag. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the 20 kilogram bag lasts ages and I highly recommend Fitch if you haven't already tried it. If you're in the UK or in Europe, then you should be able to get some. It is horse bedding, but it's perfectly safe for hamsters and it's basically recycled bits of paper. So um, yeah, it's a great bedding to use. So I think it's someone's dinner time. <laughs> so um, it is like about five o'clock past five. So it is Ruby's dinner time. She is very hungry. And I thought I'd show you how I feed her, what she gets. So this is the food that we give Ruby, and it's the Burns food. And it's basically really natural ingredients. It's chicken and brown rice. So really natural ingredients. And if you probably aren't aware of this, but Ruby does have pancreatitis. So we have to be really careful what we give her. And we have to give her a really healthy diet and everything very natural. So um, this is also recommended by the vets as well. So. This is a great food for her. And the other food we give her, which you mix in with the biscuits, is the AVA Optimum Health. And this formula was recommended by the vets. So this is what we give her along with her biscuits. Mm -hmm. 